Hello, good evening. How's it going? Hi. All right, another Monday night. All right, so let's see. So tonight, <clears throat> we are going to be finishing these up here. Uh, let me make sure. I've got this one right side up here. Okay, I want to finish these. Make sure that I have got the same design on both sides. Now, the one thing I've got right now is this black mud palette. And that was, I was just working with the smaller washers, getting those ones painted. So I'm gonna leave that alone. Shouldn't really, but I need a dot ink here just a night. And I really didn't use much of anything last time. I could probably even get away with just doing this right out of the lid, but I don't know. Never, never really liked doing that. So just gonna give this one a little shape. So kind of as a reminder here, let me get these in my palette and I'll show you what we got going on. Okay. All right. There. Yeah. So to start with, um, the back is just black. I've got this one. I've got the Deco Art Deep Burgundy. Okay. Uh, for the second, we've just got some buttermilk. And then I've got the two metallics. I've got the rose gold, and then uh, this one, which is the bright silver. Okay. Hardly looks the same color, but this is the same burgundy as here. So, all right. Let me quickly kind of scooch things around over here. Okay. All right. There we go. So I wrote down over here um, the sizes of the tools that I had used just to make sure I wouldn't forget. I'm going to use my Happy Bowing Company tools here. Let me grab this out. I thought I had everything ready, um, but no, I actually didn't have my tools out. Surprise, surprise. You being good and ready, huh? <laughs> okay. All right. There we go. Now then, I'm going to flip these over. Painted the same black on the other side. They look a little bit rougher, but okay. okay let me get my one out here. We started immediately. Let, let, let me shift you guys over here just a little. I bet that's a little better. Okay. Um, I started out immediately with this nice silver. And we already know how the rings work out. Uh, so that they do fit nicely around. So I'm not going to have to worry today, um, you know, about following my diagonals or anything like that. All right. So let me go ahead and mix that just a smidge. Kind of go right in. Turn that down a little. That was a little annoying on my side. Okay, all right. Let's see if we can get a nice row. It was a little bit of an imperfection on this side. That's why I kind of wanted to start there as well. Just get that out of the way. 
I did not do any guidelines today. With only four sides on this, I um, didn't think that was necessary. I don't think that there's going to be a whole huge more marked error on this one. Do a little piece of fur there, though. Fur or fuzz. There. And then today, let's actually try to use the Lazy Susan instead of the paper. I still have the tendency to want to move the paper, but hey, as long as we get around, I guess it doesn't really matter all that much. All right. And then let's go around here. And I'm going to try, <laughs> try, like we did last time, just to make sure uh, that you do one pattern on one side and then one on the other. Less chance of screwing up your sizing that way too. Talked about that one last week. That was fun. Okay. This is not the most exciting part of it, but kind of compared it to golf sometimes, you know, playing golf or tennis even is, is one thing it's really exciting to do, but to try to watch it sometimes, I don't know. And last week I didn't really know what pattern I wanted to use, kind of didn't know where I was going to go with it yet. Uh, now this is literally just going to be kind of a straight copy of the other side. Uh, so I don't expect this to take very long. I think last week I probably ended up spending more time um, prepping the washers, correcting that ugliness of the prior paint. All right, so there's that. Okay, let's go right into the three. Now, I don't think it's gonna necessarily matter much, but let me see here. Let's see, that's the top there. And let me take a peek at the other side. And there's the top there. Okay. All right. So I kind of want to try to get similar spots. I don't know if that's going to actually work out, but let's see. I'm going to go into the three. Okay. Let's go to the and we're just going to do the four points. All right, there's four. Let's do the top here. Pretty quick and easy without any guidelines, like I said, since there's just the four points. It's not a super big thing. Okay. We're going to go into the 1.5. And I'm just going to use the 1.5 just for the top. And then we'll use a one to go down. There. I'm trying 
to make sure I don't pull this towards me and end up having everything kind of off the screen. So if I do that, somebody yell. Somebody give me a shout if I yank it out. Okay. That's over to the one, and let's see if I can actually make some decent locks today. Try to keep a steady hand. Certainly makes a difference, doesn't it? In such small amounts of paint, everything dries so, so quickly. Oops. This is gonna go super fast. Scooch you over. Don't want to put my hand in anything. Getting much better at that. <laughs> it's only taken me like two years or something. Stop sticking my finger in stuff that I've already done. Okay. I hope I'm not making anybody dizzy there. Right. Oh, I missed one. I was just about to go to the next, and I missed one. It's bound to happen eventually. Good thing I caught it before I moved on. that one real quick. Now it's looking a little symmetrical. Wait, what do I want to do now? Let's go ahead and get my green and I want to go in for these silver little swishes. Oops, I didn't have my other tool with me here. Like I said, I think it's more just a habit to actually use this particular tool um, when I do my swooshes, because you really don't need to when you, I think personally, for me at least, um, your swooshes, if they're smaller than maybe like a three or so, um, and if you're doing it with the dot tool, I think you can really easily get away with not using a second tool. You can just go ahead and dot and drag. But I like doing it this way, so. All right, get a nice stop there. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the tip, the sharp end up. This one kind of wants to move on me. Be careful with that. Okay, right at the top. There. 
Yeah, it really wants to move today. Okay. All right. Just going to keep that in mind. It didn't move last time. Must have done something right. Must have talked to it sweetly or something and it decided not to move. Make sure that it kind of fills itself in there. I'm just taking this edge and kind of wrapping it around and then forming the dot shape or the teardrop shape there. Okay. Let's go to this side. Sort of easier for me to do these ones upside down. All right. While I'm doing these ones, since I already know the pattern and it's going to come together really quickly here. Better start to think about what we want to do on the maroon ones. I'm not exactly sure what I want to put on those yet. Um, I was initially thinking just to kind of mimic this pattern in some way, maybe just, you know, do the colors backwards. Since I did the background, the maroon. Kind of do it black, you know, um, with the black and the silver. I don't know. These are even smaller than this one is. So again, not really sure how much I'll actually be able to fit on there. I was kind of surprised how much I actually fit on these ones. That one looks a little funky, that's okay though. And we'll go back the other direction. Try not to get anything on the little beige dots there. But I do sort of want it right up at the top. Just wrap that around. Put that in a little. Okay. All right. So there's that. Wipe off my dart tool. We're going to keep a hold of. Oh, sorry about that. That was interesting. All right. It's yelling at me that I got disconnected for a second. So, sounds like it just came right back up. We'll give it a moment just to be safe. All right. But I want to go back into my three and into the maroon and we're going to get a dot right here 
And let me scoot this up. Make sure that I can actually show you what I'm doing. That would be nice, right? Okay. And this maroon looks so beautiful and so bright when you first set it down. And it dries so quickly. And it's beautiful dark. Okay. This is like the only time that I don't go back in and clean my tool off after each dot. Redip um, just with everything on it. Let's get that in there. Little teardrop shapes. All right. This one, I'm going to try to make him. Little fatter up here. There. Okay, let's move on to these ones. See when you know what pattern you're actually going to be using, when you know what you're actually doing, it goes super fast. And the last one here. Okay. And just draw a line, and then I'm going to pull that down. Ta da. All right. So those are all done. Now let's go into our 0.5. And I just had, make sure that that's going on there correctly. I just had a couple of little micro dots right here on the edge, right between the silver and this burgundy. Kind of all that ended up fitting last time. Sort of the very last little piece. Maybe didn't even need it, but we do not want to go off pattern now. We want both sides to be the same. Okay, so I get these in here real quick. And then I can already do the top dots. That's just how quickly this is drying. The middle is already completely dry to the touch. I can already tell there's no shine on it at all. The burgundy is really deep and dark. All right, did we get them all? No? Nope. This one here. All right. I think otherwise I've got them off. Okay. All right. So it's going to, I think, a two. And we're going to go into the rose gold. Okay. 
and I'm just going to drop a nice little top dot here on these. It's amazing how much of a difference that makes. It's crazy. There's those. And let's go up to a 2.5. And I'm just real gingerly dropping these ones down here. Still makes me a little weary <laughs> doing top dots same session as the rest of the project just because that never gets to happen kind of makes me question it right okay. all done just like that super quick. Okay, so now we've got two matching sides on that. Um, what did that take, like 20 minutes? Uh, so the next thing, what I want to try to do is let's scooch you guys up here. So I do have black over here, but I think I think it's already starting to dry out. Yeah, look at that. No bueno. No, I don't want to use that. Okay. What I think I'm gonna do let's go in here. So I started out with a one. I'm just going to make sure that there's not any paint sitting in the middle of this hole here. I had seen some earlier that was kind of straggling, so I don't want that. Okay. All right. Oh, see this like little piece right here. Got to get that off. All right, now, all right, there we go. <laughs> if I can say that one more time, I think those are ready to paint now. Let's think for a second. This is always where I catch myself. So why don't we Let's see if this is try something here. So we're at three, right at the top. So let's Get this filled up. I don't know necessarily how I'm going to use these yet. Because either way, even if I turn them into jewelry, because originally, like I said, that wasn't my plan. Um, but if I decide to do that, I actually don't have the uh, cordage to do it. 
I don't I don't have anything to make them into jewelry. Deuces. Okay. I don't think this will work, but we're going to go for it anyways. Let me get this in hand. Let's take our buttermilk. I'm going to move those over just a little more. I want a little room. You're not allowed to move. Don't move. Really hard to do when your project wants to scoot away. Okay. I usually get to hold that. Today, not so much. You know, I could have possibly, and I didn't even think about it, not even a smidge. I could have just taken my cloth out that I normally use uh, to hold my jars down. And I could have sat these on it. would have prevented that from moving. We'll live, though, won't we? It'll work. I just get to practice feather touch. Light, 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 light. It's not that easy. I made you fat on one side, you have to be fat on the other side. So. They all have to be the same. Which means that as beautiful as this one is, it's not as fat as the other ones. So we're just gonna have to make it a little bigger. All right. 
Okay, let's get that one back. Okay, so what do we want to do now with these ones? I'm going to get a little pattern here. Oh, I'm going to throw that. I'm going to slip that on my hand and throw it. Um, what I could do, I could just do a crown here. That's just fine. I don't know if 2.5 is going to work or a 2, so let's see here. Let's try a 2. Let's see. I'm just wondering if it'll be easier if I do it backwards. little bigger than I think I wanted, but I know how to make that work. I like this combination of the rose gold and this dark burgundy. And then I'll just be able to put a nice small dot in the cross of these and then some top dot and I think that's that's it for these little ones so there's really not much room on them so am I going to be able to fit a 1.5 feet I think so And this is what a, a crown is for me. This is what I consider a crown. Um, two larger dots and then one on top. So, you know, kind of like a little pyramid. That probably is not what they're called. That probably has no basis <laughs> at all in what they are. Um, but that's what I call them. That's what I refer to them as. So that's what they are. All right, so there's that. Now, my decision is, do I want to go ahead and put black um, top dots, which even though I have black in this one, um, this one obviously is, is not, not the same at all. I think probably what I'm going to do is, is here. I'm going to go into the maroon. Let's make sure the top of my maroon didn't actually get too dry. And I can still dip in here. Yeah. 
and that'll dry nice and dark. Get into the back. Uh, kind of fade into the background. those are cute. Nothing super special about them, but they're cute. What if I do? Um, I have a tiny little space here. Let me go into my 05. And maybe... Right here in the crook. Let's do an itty bitty silver. I don't even know if that's visible for you guys at all. It's so small. But it's the little tiny details that make the difference, right? Now, um, next week, well, I don't know. I do need to finish the backs of these ones that I'm doing right now. And then I do have one more smaller set of washers that I wanted to do as well. Um, those are black. I actually, I didn't forget about them, but I kind of forgot about them. And I didn't actually get them painted, um, the second layer of black until uh, just this evening, a couple of hours ago. I didn't think that I would actually even get to them today. Um, and I don't know next Monday, I might go ahead and do them. Do the backs of these um, and then start on those maybe even finish those because they're such tiny little pieces um actually see here did they did they get drawn sort of yeah so these ones are even smaller all right check on the other ones real quick Okay. All right. So I've at least got those. Um, since I'm half done on that one, I'm going to repaint that top too. Okay. So I've got those um, to do next week. Uh, since they're so tiny, like I said, I think that those should fly right by. That should be no problem at all. Um, so now I've got these four. Uh, the other thing that I'm going to do, this one looks, it looks pretty dry. So now I've got the same pattern on both sides. We didn't do exactly great getting the pattern the same <laughs> in the same exact place on both sides. Um, I don't think anybody's going to notice that though. Uh, nah. Um, I need to resin them. I'm going to try a new resin. I actually. Somehow, somehow the fact that De uh, that uh, Mod Podge has resin completely passed me by. Don't ask me how. Never even thought that they had the product. Well, I found it and it was like 11 bucks and I'm like, you know what? Why not? Uh, let's go for it. So I did buy some of their resin and I'm going to try that on these. Um, so that might also be one of my, I don't know if I'm going to do that in a stream or not though. Um, only because I've had a couple of people ask me, um, if I was going to do a video on how to resin, because, um, I've done some Tuesday tips on the resin and burnish and Mod Podge and all that other stuff. Um, but I've not done any kind of tutorial 
with resin at all. And I don't know, I, I've never used this one. I don't know the quality of it. I don't know what it's like. Um, so I don't know if I want to play around with that um, on stream. <laughs> Let everybody watch me fumble with it and make and, and see kind of what it's like or not. Um, so I may or may not actually do that. Um, I may record it and post it. Um, but yeah, tonight I think this is going to be like a, a super quick session tonight. I don't have a whole lot else planned. Um, I have to, I've got a couple Valentine's things that I want to do um, outside of this stuff. And I want to get back to my vase uh, just so you guys know what's coming up. Um, I have... Um, I have so many projects that I'm thinking about and I just don't know how to implement them yet. I don't know what I want to stream um, for and with you guys versus what to record. So I'm going to get on some stuff and kind of see where it goes. So, but anyways, like I said, I think I'm going to leave this one here. Um, I will make sure that these are ready. These little black ones. Um, I think I'm just going to do something uh, maybe even closer to this on these ones. I know that they're black too, and I kind of wanted them to be the same pattern, but look at how tiny they are. I have no idea what's going to fit on these. It's going to be really, really fun to do some micro dots. Um, <laughs> those might just be a whole bunch of, uh, you know, 0.5 and, and 1 dots. We'll kind of Kind of see where it goes all right um well like i said i'm going to wrap this one up tonight um it was a very short stream just getting a few little things out of the way and i will catch you guys next time i certainly do appreciate it take care and